I think the library and the academic support centers are the heart of the institutions. We are the places where students come after their experience in the classroom. The building was last remodeled in 1995. The shelves were tall, you couldn't see from one end to the other one, so wayfinding was a real big challenge. You had to exit the library to move from the second to the third floor. You could go from the first floor to the third floor, but you couldn't go from the second floor to the third floor. Students found it hard to find us. Our tutoring center was overcrowded. We had students sitting on the floor. It was very warm and very noisy. We needed to find a better place for them to learn. The process was inclusive of all the constituents who were going to be in the building. They did a really good job at asking about our needs, down to details like about furniture. The library was dark because we had walls that had the flow of the natural light that was coming into the library. And we say, do everything you can to make sure that we maximize on the natural light coming in. Now they have all of that and they all love it. The traditional idea of a library being a place where you have to be quiet, we're trying to break that mold and have students realize that this can be a hub for them to feel comfortable in. Community is really at the center of what we do here. We feel that this is a welcoming space for students to meet other students who are on the same path. Those that wanted quiet weren't always able to find it, and those that wanted to speak up a little bit, you know, didn't like to be shushed all the time. So on the second floor, we have group seating and things that are clearly indicative of it's okay to talk here. But if you go to the third floor, there's very little in the way of group seating. It's all individual. For people who want comfortable seating by a window, there's that. One of the, our favorite things is the nooks that are upstairs as well. It's comfortable, it's flexible, it's colorful. It creates a happy mood, you know, that you say, oh, yeah, I can sit here. This is, this is really cool. In a new space like this, you wanted a space that stood out, that people would come into and say, you know, wow. And that was very much accomplished for not only the students, but for the people that work in it as well. We recognized straight away, this is a library, and that's the primary function. But there still was this important piece, which is our faculty development center, that when people walk in, they're like, wow. I think it sends a strong message that faculty professional development is a very big priority of this institution. It just makes working up here a joy. I think the place kind of sells itself, it really does. There's a comment card we have downstairs that says, I decided to stay an extra semester at Harper because of the library. We really like that one. I think we'll probably get it laminated at some point or something like that. Students have come to us and say, we love this place. We can't even remember what the old one looked like. People who remember the old Building F and see this are hard pressed to believe it's the same building. Truly 21st century. Working with Pepper Construction and working with Leggett Architect, we couldn't be happier. I believe Leggett and Pepper really did a good job at soliciting our input and meeting our needs. It was such a pleasant surprise when we first saw the space. When we saw the blueprint and then we came and saw the space, I was like, this is exactly what we envisioned.